You're watching Cool the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 22 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. Eh, so you missed the last episode, huh? That's all right. Here's a recap. When I moved into this house last May, this place was full of stuff. So I have spent hundreds of hours cleaning the kitchen, the dining room, the office, the living room, the other living room, the hallway, the upstairs hallway, this room, this room, this room, this room, the bathroom, and last but not least, this room. We have two things left to work on on the inside. The first thing being the attic. And the second thing is the basement. Ah, the basement. There is a lot of stuff down here. Not a lot of room for activities in here. We also learned that Neva is terrified of spiders. What? It's a huge spider. I almost touched it. Oh, spiders are disgusting. Please tell her to fuck. No! What? You're rude! Why would you do that? You're so <laughs> mean! Don't forget, if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. forgot to mention, today's video is brought to you by... Focus... Trayvax. Trayvax has some pretty sweet stuff. They got this belt. I've been wearing this thing for about a year now. All you gotta do, stick it through the hole, tighten it, put it through the other hole, tighten it again. Now you got unlimited adjustability on this thing and I've never had it come loose. Absolutely love this thing. Don't need an absolutely awesome belt in your life? That's okay. Don't want to carry around a wallet that's this thick anymore? That's great, because Trayvax has wallets too. Check out this bad boy. Real leather, real metal. Doesn't allow me to stuff it full of junk. It's even got a bottle opener on it. And to top it off, it's got a 65 year warranty and it's made right here in the USA. So if you're interested and want to get a sweet discount or just want to see what else they have on their website, the link to their website's in the description. And if you use the code that is also in the description, you'll get 10% off. Come on entryway why can't you just clean yourself now don't be thinking you're out of it yet we're gonna clean you up later but first this room I have no idea where the trash bags went trash bags Yes! Look at that! Got some new jorts. Yes, these are windows. Several of them. Brand new. Check this out, I got a toolbox that is loaded with tools. And that's been hiding in here for like ever. Now we finally have needle nose pliers over here. Heck yeah. Do you ever have a project where you're working on it real hard right away and it just feels like it's going great and then all of a sudden you just hit a wall and you don't really want to continue on with the project? That's basically where I'm at at this point with this room. And that's because virtually every single item on the floor I had to go through literally one item at a time and then itemize out all of the good items. I'm gonna guesstimate and say this little corner here is about 95% good items. And I'm gonna be bold and say 100% of the items on that shelf are good. Once we get all these shop items organized and separated out, there really won't be much left in here. I've said it before and I'll say it again, when you're cereal cleaning, like I am right now, I call large cleaning project cereal cleaning, you have to break it down into small goals, otherwise it just seems way too overwhelming. For example, when I first started, I wanted to get that corner cleaned. So once I got that corner cleaned, then I said, okay, I'm gonna work on this shelf. And I wouldn't let myself go eat lunch until I got that shelf done. And then after lunch, I came down and I said, okay, 
okay, I'm gonna get these shelves and this bench cleaned off. So once I got all those done, then I moved to the floor. At the moment, I'm tackling this toolbox and then we're gonna be putting all these tools into boxes so that way we can get this all cleaned up and these shelves tore down. Then it'll be this shelf, and then it'll be sweep the room. And then tomorrow, we'll tackle this room. Oh man. Do you guys remember how 14 hours ago this room was clean? And this room was full of stuff? That's right, it took me 14 hours to clean out this room. It looks really good in here now. The only reason why these boxes are in here is because there's no bottom to them and all the stuff will fall all over. So I need to get some other boxes so that way I can get these upstairs. Now we just have one room left, but that's for tomorrow. Look at this stuff, guys. Right here we have the pile that's going to be going to the shop. This stuff is going to the burn pile, and that stuff over there is going to the scrapyard. You guys remember how I called it the electrical room? There's a reason why I called it that. Look at all of these fuse boxes. That room had 48 fuse boxes in it. All of these are going to the scrapyard because these fuse boxes are ancient. They have the screw-in type of fuses, and if I'm going to be putting new electrical in, I'm going to be putting in a breaker box. Also, I'm kind of questioning if Bob Ross lived here at some point because that's a lot of paint. I've been cleaning for the past 14 hours and I am tired, so I'm gonna call it a night. First things first in the morning, we're gonna get the bulk of the main room up the stairs and outside. That way we'll be able to bring stuff from the back room into the main room to get everything separated out into different piles. See you in a few hours. Uh, hey, we have Neva to help us today. So that way I can keep Cole on track because he's kind of lazy. Neva, are you coming? It was so generous of Neva to say that she would come down and carry all of this stuff upstairs by herself. Not myself. You're crazy. Absolutely not. You're helping. Well, I, I guess I can help. Our goal is to do this in an hour. Do you think we can do it? We're going to find out. How do we do? We were supposed to get it done in an hour. That was our goal. We set a timer and everything, and then the timer went off, and we still had a few things in here. I was really disappointed in us. We went over like five ish minutes. It was all Nava's fault. Hey, absolutely not. You had fault in that too. You could have worked a little faster. Now we're going to work on the other room. We're going to take things out one by one so we can sort it through in this room, and then we're going to take everything from this room, take it back outside. And then after we're gonna sweep, take all the cobwebs down. My favorite part, not really. And then we're gonna go into the other room over there. We're gonna tidy it up and I think we'll be solid. Let's get started. Uh, let's see, what day is today? Saturday? I am a farmer, I don't know what day it is half the time. <laughs> Honestly, Wednesday might work better than the road would be frozen and we're not getting it all muddy. Yeah, I, I, I'd be okay with Wednesday. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. <laughs> oh my goodness, that one sounded atrocious. <laughs> That was you. That was you, Cole. We are gonna have to talk about this, Neva. That's <laughs> gross. You're annoying. That's gross. Go to the bathroom. This is good. This is ugly. <laughs> Your face.
Hey, Neva. Yes. Nice hairdo. Leave me alone. Why are you making fun of me? Guys, tell him to stop teasing me on camera. It's embarrassing. Hey, I found another mouse. No, Neva. We're not gonna eat it. Why? It's really yummy. Why can you eat chickens, but you don't wanna eat the rat? Hey, found another rat. Where? More lunch. Okay, what's the good news, Neva? I think we're almost done. What's the bad news, Neva? Spider webs after this? What's the bad news, Cole? The bad news is we filled this room completely full again. <laughs> that is bad news. What'd you do that for? <laughs> I didn't do it. You did it. I just helped. <laughs> But honestly, the good news is we got this room cleaned out. We need to tear the shelf down yet. And Neva has quite a few items here on the floor that she needs to pick up. But other than that, we made a good dent in here. Why are you so close to my face right now? And for the second time today, we're going to clean this out again. Neva, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm waiting for you to get done and I'm cold. So I'm like in a ball to warm myself. Set a timer for an hour. Do you think we can do it this time? Yeah. Okay, this time we're gonna get it done in an hour. Where's my phone? Go, 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 go! We got 30 seconds left, and that's all that we gotta move, so we didn't do it again. All right. What do you think? I think it's about time. That took forever, but we had good teamwork. Oh my, look at that, it's clean. Kind of. Look what we have here, ladies and gentlemen. We got our shoe rack up. We got the entire ceiling vacuumed of cobwebs. The floor has been swept and vacuumed. We still got the tool pile here. We got a room for coats. We got the laundry room all cleaned out. There's so much room in here. Throw this in the washing machine. And then back here, we got the interrogation room and this room. Don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, but at least it's clean. As of this moment, I want this room to be my weight room. This room is going to be the storage room. This room is just going to be clean over here. On these coat racks, I want to have clothing. This area is going to stay reserved for the shoes. I like them down here instead of them being on the stairs or up on the landing. This room is going to stay a coat room. And obviously, this room is going to remain the laundry room. I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. These tools are gonna stay down here until we're able to clear some room in the heated shop. And then all of these will disappear. In total, the whole basement project took me 70 hours and then Neva helped for 60 of those hours. So the basement took 130 man hours to clean. I can tell you one thing, after 130 hours of cleaning, it definitely smells a lot better in here. And it's a lot more visually appealing. So there we have it guys, the basement's clean. The only thing we have left to clean in the house is the attic. So with that being said, this is the end of the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. I wanna know what you guys think. And lastly, if you wanna keep up with the journey of what we're doing here on the farm, be sure to hit the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.